Hi, I am Bap Yu. If you've watched my videos before, you know I usually do videos that depict a hike that I take either by myself or with a friend. This will be no different. So if you've taken the time to look at my uh, user page, the description of my channel tells you that my interests and hobbies include topographic maps and all forms of earth science, geomagnetism, sedimentology, basically anything related to earth science. And um, I am a uh, topographic map collector and sort of topographic map nut. I teach maps. At present, I'm in a motel room in Lodi, California. And I drove up here from Los Angeles today. It's the Thursday the 12th of November 2009. This particular trip started with a topographic map, but here's the map. It's, uh, if you're familiar with topographic maps, these are known as seven and a half minute quadrangles. The uh, greatest detail maps, they're a scale of one to 24,000. In other words, one measurement on the map is equal to 24,000 of the same measurement in the real world or on the ground as they say. So this particular map is uh, a location in Northern California. The bottom neat line here in this map is at uh, 40 degrees, 37 minutes, 30 seconds north. And the top neat line then is at 40 degrees, 45 minutes north. So always seven and a half minutes of uh, latitude and then longitude as well. And for longitude we're at 121 degrees, 30 minutes on the east side of the map. This is west longitude, west of Greenwich. And then 121 degrees, 37 minutes, 30 seconds. Okay, so seven and a half minutes of uh, longitude, seven and a half minutes of latitude, hence the name, seven and one half minute quad. So this particular map is titled Thousand Lakes Valley, California. And it shows a location um, that's up in the Lassen uh, National Forest, which is up in Northern California. Uh, actually close to Lassen National Volcanic Monument, which is a uh, volcano in Northern California, if you don't know about it. It uh, erupted last uh, in 1915. It's still active. There are fumaroles and mud pots and, and various thermal features around the uh, flanks of uh, uh, Lassen Peak. Uh, and uh, numerous lava flows, such as the one here uh, this is called Devil's Rock Garden. Now this is a number of miles to the north of Lassen Peak, but it's in the same general region. And on this map you can notice there are numerous uh, cinder cones, such as this one here, Hall Butte, and further to the north here you have Eiler Butte, also a nice little cinder cone. Cinder cones are small volcanoes comprised of tephra or uh, solid material that's blown out through the air from a volcanic vent. Uh, these are the tumble buttes, also uh, cinder cones, and far to the south you have, in this map, you have Bear Wallow Butte, all cinder cones, more or less in a line here. These probably erupted in what's called a fissure eruption. Uh, these are roughly in a line going uh, north-northwest, uh, and it's not uncommon in volcanically active regions. You have a, this sort of fissure eruption with a string of uh, cinder cones. I, I've seen similar features, at least read about similar features in Iceland, in East Africa, in the East African Rift, and also I've seen similar lines of cinder cones uh, in Oregon. And there are probably hundreds of other locations around the world where you can see such features. So anyway, one, one idea on this trip is to go, I may get th this area here, the Thousand Lakes area here at Thousand Lakes Valley is a wilderness area so there's no motorized travel allowed within a wilderness area, designated wilderness. Some of the other interesting maps in this general area of Northern California, which I'm, I'm not up there yet, I'm in Lodi which is a few miles south of uh, uh, Sacramento, so I have another you know, several hours drive to get up to this area tomorrow. This map is titled Merkin Bench it's at uh, 40 degrees, 45 minutes uh, on the bottom neat line, latitude north. And the interesting feature here, you have this entire, this brownish area on the west side of the map is all uh, a large lava flow area. Here are a few uh, 
cinder cones up in this in the northwest corner of this map, a couple more cinder cones in a line. And what's really interesting about this map, the uh, Merkin Bench map, Mer Merkin Bench, California, are these very prominent uh, escarpments or cliffs that, that are present. Okay, and what these are, this is called, this, this cliff by the way has a name, it's called the Hat, Hat Creek Rim. What these are, these are fault scarps. In other words, what's going on here, these, these, these cliffs, that, as the uh, uh, contour lines suggest, they're very steep and they're facing westward. And what's going on here, for instance, with this, this scarp here, this piece of the Earth's crust has dropped down relative to this piece up here, and there's about a thousand feet or so. So this escarpment, this steep face cliff, is actually what would be called a fault scarp. Okay, and here you have a piece of crust that's dropped down relative to this piece up here. Another smaller piece that's dropped down uh, relative to this piece up here. Another drop down, drop down part here, and there are all these numerous escarpments. So this is probably a very fantastic landscape, and this is another place that I want to attempt to get to. A third location, here you have this seven and a half minute quad, is called Lassen Peak, California. A little bit further to the south of the previous one, what you're seeing here, a portion of Lassen Peak up here, some small glaciers depicted here. I wonder if these glaciers are still around since the map was made. This map was uh, dated 1995. That would be an interesting thing to investigate or to study. The interesting things on this map are some thermal features. Fumaroles, which are vents spewing or uh, venting uh, gases uh, from cracks or holes in the ground. Okay, and you have mud pots that are designated on this map. Not too far away is a place called Bumpus Hell, which is pretty famous for its mud pots and hot springs. These are all thermal features that are related to active volcanism. Just to the east of Lassen Peak Quad is this, this quad, Redding Peak, California. And this shows the, the eastern half of Lassen Peak here. Right here is the eastern half of Lassen Peak up in the northwest corner of the map. Then there are further therm thermal features on this map depicted. Uh, you've got uh, uh, some hot springs here and more hot springs over here, some mud pots and so forth. Okay, so I may attempt to get to some of these areas and take some video. So that's all I'm going to talk about here in the motel room. Tomorrow I'm going to drive up to this area and use these maps to navigate with and uh, see what sort of adventure I can have.